Stealth is our modular, medium weight, three person camping tree tent. At 9.9 kilos, 21.6 pounds, this model has a load capacity of 400 kilos, which is 880 pounds. The tent is rated for four season camping and has a fully removable top, which consists of grade two no see mesh with three door entry and a removable fly sheet with a waterproof rating of 3000 HH, which comes in a range of colors. Take the full top off to have a multi-person hammock with full open air lounging with unbeatable views. When pegged out, the fly offers an enormous 14 square meters, which is 150 square feet of covered area at ground level. The Generation 3 Stingray Safari has a few new features that I'd like to show you. Firstly, we've got the mesh pole sleeves, which allow cross ventilation when the rain cover is on. Um, this means that there will be less condensation on the inside of the rain fly. Underneath the tent, you'll find three large storage uh, nets, one in each corner of the tent. Big enough for your rucksack and your personal valuables. A new sized hatch, which is 40% bigger than the old hatch, which means it's easier to get in in the winter when you're wearing bigger and bulky clothes. The hatch also doubles up as a huge pocket inside here with a zip closing um, feature. And I'm gonna jump in, open the front door and show you around the inside. Safari Stingray has a door for each of the hammocks. So everybody can get in from any side of the tent. Also means that the tent can become a pretty nice open platform for just hanging out in. The hatch has a new latching system there, which is like a double safeguard as well as the zips to close it. It's nice and loose, so you can keep your valuables in there. Or in each of the corners, everybody gets their own storage pocket that's big enough for a laptop or a fairly good sized rucksack or storage bag, stuff sack. Four loops um, in the roof that you can use for hanging um, your lanterns or the um, mesh bags that come with the tent. The Safari Rainfly has an 8000 hydrostatic head waterproof rating and clips onto the ratchet handles with our quick release. More and more campers are agreeing that getting off the ground is the only way to camp. We set out to design the ultimate solo tent by combining the convenience of a traditional tent with the aerial benefits of a hammock. Welcome to the Aerial A1 by Opianga. What makes the Aerial so special is its elevated, stable platform. Unlike a hammock, the Aerial stretches out tight, creating an extremely comfortable sleeping surface. The space inside spreads open, flat, free of any pressure points, giving you room to stretch out, breathe, and sleep in any position, back, side, or even front. The main feature that allows the Aerial to achieve its exceptional comfort and stability is our unique slackline suspension system. The suspension system works by having two high tensile webbing straps set up on either side of two trees. The webbing is then expanded using aluminum spreader bars. To get the surface tight, a simple 3 to 1 purchase system is used utilizing climbing grade components which provides a hassle free setup that takes only minutes. This setup creates an extremely strong, stable surface using only two trees. The Opiongo Aerial is designed to be the most versatile shelter ever. It spans over any terrain, rocks, roots, or even rivers. There's no need to find a dry spot or level ground, pitch your tent between the trees, and sleep like a baby bird. But if no trees are available, don't fret. The floor seams are sealed and the tent can simply be set up on the ground like any other tent. The Aerial A1 is constructed from premium materials using modern manufacturing processes. At its core, this tent is a simple single pole structure with a small ridge pole that creates a roomy little nest. The tent features two incredibly large doors on either side to completely open up the space, allowing nature to flow right through. Inside, there are two pockets on either end and one sky pocket that is the perfect place for putting your headlamp, phone, and much more. We are proud to announce that all our first round backers have received their tents and their reviews have been amazing. 
After listening to our backers, we have tweaked the product to make it even better. All tents now come with premium DAC aluminum poles, an increased waterproof rating, auto tensioning guidelines, and more. We are currently taking orders for the second round of aerials, which are already being made. We hope you'll get on board the aerial experience and take your camping to new heights. Now I'll run through some of the uh, features of the Generation 3 flight. Firstly, as you've seen, there's mesh pole sleeve, which allows for greater ventilation um, underneath the rain fly when it's on. Now if we look underneath the flight, you'll see a detachable storage net uh, for all of those big bulky personal items that you may come um, adventuring with. And then if I look up here, open up the door, the door simply folds away and then clips up to the, to the pole like so, so you can get it out of the way. People often ask us, how do you get into your tents? But at four feet, 1.2 meters, it's pretty easy. They, uh, they come down to meet you and you just simply hop in like that, take your shoes off, make sure you've got nothing sharp in your pockets. Take your eye patches, put them inside your personal storage pocket there and zip yourself in and relax. To pack down the Generation 3 Uno, we'll start by removing the rain fly by just removing all the anchoring and pegging out bungees that we've attached. And once all the wings have been unpegged, I'm going to go back here and remove the hooks from the back of the ratchet and then I'm going to remove the lacing on the other front side so I'm going to do the tail last which is going to help me by giving me something to pull against when I'm folding so I'll take the two front corners of the rain fly and bring them together so the rain flies fold in half. Grab the center point, fold in half again, and in half again. Then I can just roll towards the tail. When I'm about halfway, I'm going to unclip that tail undo the lacing, place the rain fly on the floor, bring the tail up into that roll that I've started and then roll, I want to roll backwards into that so that everything and all the clips and bungees are safely within the roll. Then I can get out the clip bracelet Round the rain fly, clip it together, cinch it tight, ready for packing. Next thing we're going to do is release the pole by pushing it up into the sleeve, taking it out of the socket, giving it a wiggle so it detaches from that socket, pulling it out of the mesh sleeve, and pole's ready for packing. Ratchet, you have to unhook it by pulling back on the locking plate and pulling the handle all the way forward and giving it a little tap to release the tension and then taking out all of that strap, giving it a wiggle just to loosen that girth hitch and then threading the strap, the ratchet through the loop and taking the loop out of the D-ring. With the web lock, if you've got a strap tidy, take that out and just pull the top part backwards, which will release the strap and then un unthread another wiggle and pass the web block through its own loop and then take the loop out of the D-ring. To pack the tent, simply take one of the front D-rings over to the other then take both into the middle to give you about a 25 centimeter or 10 inch width on that. Go and get the tail, 
bring the tail up to the same end as the other D-rings and simply roll your tent. I like to keep the insect mesh um, protected by keeping it inside the floor material and then doing a little bit of a backward roll just to make sure that all of those seam ends are within the roll. And then we're ready to take out our clip band around the tent. Clip, cinch, ready for packing. Packing the bags nice and easy, all your black straps. I'm gonna put mine back in the bag with the pole. Tent first, because it's the biggest item. Rain fly, pole slip down the side of that. Ratchet and web lock. Twist the top and close that roll. Clip. Cinch 